Interested to see how I make my vegetables? Well, stick around till the end of the video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We are going to begin by prepping our vegetables. I have one large red onion, two carrots, one yellow squash, a zucchini, a red bell pepper. I'm going to also be using a few cloves of garlic. And of course, I do have some fresh green beans. We are going to begin this process by, of course, washing the vegetables and then you're going to begin chopping them chop up your vegetables in whatever shape you like i'm chopping mine in the shapes that i prefer i'm going to do semi circles rounds squares strips whatnot so you go ahead and do all that and then you'll be well underway to begin your cooking process if you're new here my name is angie I'm a mom who loves to cook and share my recipes online. So I do hope you consider sticking around by hitting the subscribe button and joining the fam. So I'm going to pull apart my red onions so that we don't have large chunks of onions in our food. Um, I prefer my onions that big, but if that's not your thing, go ahead and chop them into smaller sizes. And then of course, we're going to have some carrots. I'm just just removing the skin first and then I'm going to use the same potato peeler to just shave off my carrots I do this so that I cut off my cook time by 75% so once you do that you're going to prep of course your garlic just mince it or just chop it up in small pieces and clean up your green beans and then let's move on over to the cooktop over here, I'm going to boil some water so that I blanch my green beans. I like doing that so that I also reduce the cook time by 75%. Yeah, two to three minutes, take them out and put them in a cold water bath. Then over here, I'm just going to begin sauteing my vegetables. We're going to begin with the onions. I'll add in some salt so that we just wilt down the onions a little bit. Then once that's accomplished, I'm going to add in the rest of the other vegetables, the zucchini, the yellow squash, and the red bell pepper. These three veggies have the same cook time, so you can just add all of them at the same time and just let them do their thing. I covered mine a little bit to just sweat them through, but please don't overcook your vegetables. And also, we are not trying to make soup out of these vegetables, so make sure that you don't oversweat them. Just cover them for about two to three minutes and then uncover it. And then, yeah, we're going to begin adding in a few spices. So over there, I have some black pepper. And then I'm also going to add in some paprika. You can skip paprika and do chili if you like but because i was using creole seasoning which already has some kick to it i i was like okay let's go with that too so i dumped in my green beans that are already you know halfway done and then we're going to give those a quick toss and then also we're going to add in our garlic and our carrot strips and then just mix those in for about a minute or two. Squeeze in some lemon juice, add in some parsley flakes, and voila, you're done. If you like your vegetables like that, then go ahead and eat them like that. I always do eat mine like that. But for this particular recipe, I wanted to take them a notch higher. So I transferred them into a baking dish. I shaved some Parmesan cheese on top and put those in the oven, you know, at 450 degrees for about two minutes, just enough to melt the cheese. I was going to eat my vegetables, you know, with just a slice of uh, fish. So I really wanted them to have like a distinct taste to them. I'm telling you, cheese takes anything to the next level. You should try it on your veggies. I did enjoy mine. And if you've watched till this far, 
thank you so much for sticking around please like share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified whenever i upload until the next one bye